This video comes with heavy hearts and may leave some of you filled with tears while others will question life itself. Ryan Johnson, why did you do this to us? Our beloved Akbar, the second most infamous line in the Star Wars universe. It's a trap! Debatably, of course, died early in The Last Jedi and without any proper screen time or a proper funeral for that matter, like he got in Legends. Admiral, you helped save the Rebel Alliance during the Battle of Endor, during the times of the Empire with Lord Vader and Palpatine's reign on the galaxy. Now, for those who haven't seen The Last Jedi, this is how he died. It was said that the bridge exploded and everyone died, including Admiral Akbar. That was it. They did you wrong, and I want this video to be the official respect thread for Admiral Akbar. Before we have a few moments of silence to honor such a man, I'd like to briefly go over some of his life so that we may better know the man behind the gills. Akbar came from the planet Mon Cala during the final years of the Galactic Republic. His home world was part of the Republic itself, ruled by Supreme Chancellor Sheep Palpatine. Always a smart and sharp young man, Akbar eventually enlisted into the military, working his way up becoming captain and thus the chief military advisor to the leader of the ocean world. Serving through the Clone Wars in his life, it was after the rise of the Galactic Empire that Akbar became the foremost military commander in the Alliance to restore the Republic. He rose as a symbol of defiance against the Empire's enslavement of non-humans and led the rebels to victory during the Battle of Endor. It was him who instructed the Alliance to follow General Solo to the surface of Endor itself and take out the shield generators while having a squadron of fighters to go with Lando to destroy the Death Star superstructure from the inside, holding off the Imperial forces and destroying the Empire's executor ship with the destruction of the Death Star at Luke's hand. We can see Akbar party with everyone down on Endor's moon, where we see the Force ghosts and Luke joining everyone in celebration. Akbar is as much as part of the original trilogy as Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Now, after his short role in The Force Awakens, we don't even see him in The Last Jedi, only here in one simple sentence that, yeah, he was blown up too. If I were to have it my way, Akbar would have taken Holdo's place and sacrificed himself to save the new Rebel Alliance, who were escaping to Crate. That would have been the right send-off, since for some reason, our multiple guild friend was sentenced to die. So, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, my fellow bounty hunters and everyone else watching, may we all give a moment of silence to our lost but not forgotten Admiral. Admiral Akbar. Thank you everyone for paying your respects to the Admiral. I wish you all a fantastic day as always, and I will see you in the next memorial, I mean the episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Akbarians and Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always. Now, fulfill.